My name is Abdulaziz Mohammed, originally from uh, North Sudan, particularly Darfur. Split the country in 2013, end up in Australia and seeking asylum. But I mean, instead, I got sent to a detention center, spending six years in the middle of nowhere, in a six and a half years in the middle of nowhere, in a place where the conditions are indescribable and there is zero humanity and zero tolerance. Again, on top of all of that, we have also experienced something new, which is a pushback on top of all of our experience. But that is the moment when I personally ask myself, what is the convention stand for and why country like Australia, it's one of the Western liberal democratic country is starting to abolish the, 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 the Geneva convention. And that question actually strike me and make me really think day and night, day and night to see that what is the Geneva Convention? Why the Geneva Convention is getting weaker and weaker? Why countries, the Western liberal democratic countries, they start, I mean, undermining the convention, which is their own signatures. What can we do? All of us, we need to come together to a point that to say no detention center, no comes because detention center and come, it's excluding people from the community. It's showing that you and, and us, which means you guys are refugee and us, we are the Western, we don't want you. We need to erase that point that we say, refugees, migrants, whoever, you are welcome. And in order to say that, we have to all come together to a point to say, offer them educations. When they come to our society, we need to offer them an education. And that education will end up having a absolutely enormous contributions. And that contribution will make this world as a better place and the world we can live in a world where we cannot say you you versus us or us versus them we will eliminate that